Clock in, clock in. Black gotta just walk in. I don't need nobody. Only fuck with niggas from around my way. Fuck how you feel about it. I don't know what who's stepping for my session, but they still trying to block it. Had to throw the hate up on my necklace. Bitch, I'm trying to stop it. Bitch, I don't even wash my clothes. I ain't never folded. Had to wipe a nigga nose. Team Black got to stand up, man. Yo. All right, so we about to watch this video of this lawyer breaking down Dirk's mortar for hire. You feel me? Let's see how they go. About little Dirk being indicted, let's get into the facts. There is an indictment out in California. It's federal. It includes a charge, murder for hire. Murder for hire resulting in death is punishable by life in prison. Now, in the indictment out in California, there are five people named. None of those people is Little Dirk. There is, however, in that indictment, a mention to other conspirators. Those people could be named. They have not been named yet. What do the feds say about this conspiracy? They take you back to 2020 and the murder of King Vaughn. Then they say that after Vaughn was murdered, a high-ranking member of OTF let it be known that there was a bounty on the head of, indiv of an individual involved in that King Von murder. That's believed to be Quando Rondo. So reading between the lines of the indictment, the feds are saying that Dirk put money on Rondo's head. Then the feds say that two years later, five people from Chicago with some other conspirators traveled to LA, attempted to murder Quando Rondo, hit somebody else who was standing right next to Quando's car. The feds have a lot of evidence They've got plane tickets. They say the plane tickets were purchased using an OTF associated credit card. They say the gun was supplied by an OTF associate. They have five people in custody. They're probably going to get some more and then they're going to start squeezing on people and say, hey, have you seen this man? Does he run this crew? Did he provide some money to you? The thing about the indictment in California, this is a murder for hire plot. And what's very interesting is they've picked up, arrested who they believe are the shooters. They've identified, they have video of the shooting and they've identified the individuals they say are the shooters. And in their indictment, they refer to co-conspirators who have not been named. And that's who they're really after, if you ask me, because you read that indictment and it says that a bounty was put up, that these guys went out, they took the shot. They attempted the bounty, they killed somebody, they went to collect on the bounty, and the indictment says the bounty was paid. And so if you can prove who paid that bounty, who's the money man, that's who you're going to want to go after if you're the feds. And so if you've got the shooters picked up, that's who you're going to lean on if you're the feds. And you're going to say, where did the money come from? Who put up the money? Now, if you can't connect the shooting to a money man, then you can't get the money man. Somebody, I mean, unless you have hard evidence of the money transfer, you're gonna need somebody probably to say, yeah, it was, you're gonna need a witness to say that guy gave me the money. Or yeah, that's that why they need somebody the to sneak. To, to this guy. That's why they need somebody to it's very hard too. to prove who hands over the cash without witness testimony. We saw this in the 6ix9ine case. 6ix9ine apparently put bounties up. How did they figure it out? Somebody said, yo, 6ix9ine <laughs> told me. Here's the big thing he you got to understand about the little too, situation. Him. The indictment that's been released is not a gang RICO charge. In a gang charge, if they prove you're in the gang, you're responsible for the acts of the other gang members. However, this is murder for hire. Doesn't matter if he's in a gang or what or this or that. What's going to matter here is did he pay hire someone for the murder? Okay, so unless they link Dirk to the money, it's not murder for hire. Rico gang would be totally different. Then you start talking about, oh, did this guy ever wear the words OTF on his shirt? You know, did he ever do that? You know, nah. this is not that case. It's murder for hire. They're going to try to connect him to the money that was paid to the shooter. That's the only way they get him on murder for hire, which you face life for if the, the murder for hire involved a death. Here, they didn't kill who he was hired to. So maybe you better hope you don't. Crazy word. Crazy word. All right, what I am going to say is, y'all, stay where the hell y'all at. Stay where y'all at, now. Nah. I remember when my boy Dirk first got arrested. Everybody like, ooh, he fried. Ooh, he messed up. Ooh, he finna get life. You feel me? Now, you know, uh, taking a couple days, bro, and I've been going back and, you know, kind of pay attention to the uh, situations that occurred before Dirt ended up actually getting locked up, man. And it's kind of funny to me, right? You feel me? Dirk is so-called the money man, right? 
Stop the damn music. Let's get serious. All right. Dirk is so-called the money man, right? So they got to try to figure out a way to connect my boy to that bag. Do I feel like it's going to be real easy for them to do that? Not really. You know, uh, the evidence that they do got is basically dirt cards, right? So they got dirt cards in the mix of this and that, you feel me? But I'm pretty sure dirt, you know, got ways around that. And he made it very clear in a couple text messages that, you know, uh, don't connect me to nothing. He probably been telling his partners that, you feel me? Um, they really need somebody to tell, bro. So if old boy decide to stop telling this situation could go left. You feel me? Now, Rico, I feel like Rico's, you would have to find Dirk in some sort of criminal act to even charge him with a Rico, right? That's why they ain't even get Dirk in a Rico. I don't think it's as simple as what the lawyer was saying. You feel me? Because you can't just lock everybody up for a Rico if everybody in this Rico didn't commit a crime. You feel me? To further this gang. Or you feel me? Or proof of them finance in the game you know first thing you would want to do is murder for hire then turn it to a rico but then you got to figure out that dirk is like literally giving folks money and doing all this and that and that's a hard ass thing to prove that's why i feel like they usually go straight for the rico because that's easier to prove especially if you out in the hood you know what i'm saying hanging out with the same dudes that just did a drive-by or something like that it's easier to prove that but dirk really moved kind of smart like dirk Really got his partners them and he only pop up now and then for interviews and this and that and then he just get gone. Like he don't really hang around too long uh, or especially hang ar around long enough to be, you know, blanked for anything that happened. So it's looking like, bro, the best thing they could have did was kind of charge him with murder for hire, bro. Um, and just say that he the one funding the whole situation. Now, depending on who says what is going to dictate this whole process, bro. And um, it seemed like his boy Jam is in a jam right now. So he just kind of saying anything right now. But we still don't know what he, he really saying for real, fam, until they come out of his mouth, bro. And then about this wire situation, I still don't see no information on dude wearing a real deal wire. That'll be crazy work. But even if he was wearing a wire, what they talking about? Fucking hoes, dots, you know what I'm saying? Trips, you know what I'm saying? Dead ops. What is they talking about that could incriminate him in this case, bro? I want to see what evidence they really got and how they present it, bro. Because that's going to really give us a whole rundown of this whole situation. Now, y'all see I'll be on point by everything that's happening now. So, y'all y'all already know what's up, bro. But we're going to see what happens when they get down.